So, what type of an operations I can basically perform in my database? One of it is we have something called CURD, C R U D. C stands for create, R stands for read, U stands for update, D stands for delete. So, create is like creating a database and creating a table. Once you create database or a table, what will you do? You will store the data into your tables, correct? Once you store the data, what will you do with it? You will ultimately read the data, correct? So, reading the data is nothing but selecting the data from a table. Okay, now I have a data. Now, I felt like there is some, some issue with my data or some, some sort of an uh, issue with my data. Then, ultimately, I have to update my data. Am I right or wrong? I, I had seen some issues with my data. Then, ultimately, what will I do? I will update my data, which is like updating a data in a table. And then, if I do not want the data anymore, I do not want to waste my space. Then ultimately what will I do? Delete the data from a table. So you create the data, you then insert the data, then you select the data, then you update the data and then you delete the data. These are called CURD operations. So these were the operations that you perform in any sort of a database per se, which are the absolute required operations that we perform. What are these operations? Creating a table or a database, then inserting the data into it, then selecting the data, reading the data, then updating the data and deleting the data. What is the short form putting all this together? CURD. Whenever you hear CURD in a context of a database, that means it is a short form of create, read, update and delete. These are the operations that you usually perform in your database. Any database per se you take. These are the very common operations that you perform. So, I create a table ultimately to store the data. Why will I store the data? To perform some analysis. If I want to perform some analysis, I wanted to read the data. And if I feel the data has some data integrity issues or some issues with the data, then I will update the data. And if I no longer needs the data, I will delete the data. As simple as it is, correct? Only three or four operations. Create, read, delete and update. The short form is CURD. Are you all following what I am saying? Any, any questions from online audiences? Any, any questions from online audiences? No, all right. Now, so these are the steps that we follow. Usually if you take in any database. The very first important step is creating a database. Without database, you cannot create a table. It is like without creating a spreadsheet, there is no tab sheet. Without a tab sheet, there are no rows and columns. Am I right or wrong? Without a tab sheet, there is no rows and columns. The same way, in the way how we created our spreadsheet, we will also be creating or storing the data in the database. The first important step would be creating a database, then once your database is like your excel sheet, you created your excel sheet. Now what will you do? You will go and create the tab sheet in uh, within it. Tab sheet is like creating a table. Once you have a tab sheet, what will you do? You will not have an, you will, you, you will not create a tab sheet to look, to look it empty, correct? You have to do something with it, correct? So what will you do? You will add rows to the table. Now, once you have a rows within it, what, what will you do with it? You will do further analysis with it. So, the very first important step is creating a database, after that creating a table, after that adding the rows to it and do the further analysis on top of the rows. This is what you do with your any type of a database per se you take. Is it clear to everyone? Is it clear? Okay, so we'll stop here. So, what would I expect from you guys before you you guys come to this classes? I want every one of you to install the MySQL database in your computers. It's going to be very important. You have lots of YouTube tutorials on doing it. I'm not going to show you that because it's a waste of time. 
you know, there are lots of YouTube tutorials where you can follow and easily create. The MySQL, easily install MySQL application in your computer. And you should also need to install workbench application. There is something called MySQL workbench application. So you should also be installing workbench application before coming to the class tomorrow. The first thing is you have to install MySQL database and also workbench application, MySQL workbench application before, before the class starts tomorrow. I expect everyone to have this application installed in your computer. One of it is the MySQL database, another is the workbench application to be installed in your computers. It's going to be very important. Without that, you can't practice. From tomorrow onwards, it's more less of a theory, more of a practice. So that's the reason why I would expect every one of you to install the MySQL workbench as well as the MySQL database in your computers. Are you all getting this? Any questions from online audience? There are lots of YouTube tutorials. You can follow them and you can easily install. That's not a big deal. Very, very easy to install. It's more like uh, clicking next, 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 next. You will be giving a username and password. Don't forget the username and password that you give. While installing the MySQL, you will be giving a username and password. Don't forget that. Because while connecting to the database from your workbench, it expects you to give the username and password. Are you all following what I am saying? Don't forget the username and password. The master username and password that you give at the time of installation, don't forget it. If you forget it, you will never be connected to your database, as simple as it is. You have to uninstall and reinstall again, which is a very pathetic thing, correct? So I would expect everyone to have these two applications to be installed in your systems before tomorrow's class start. Okay, any questions from anyone?